Yes, um, we'll start by talking about the uh, the story of the week, which yes. is, of course, the uh, England football shirt having the wrong cross on its collar, oh. and everyone is up in arms and well, outraged. It's a, well, it's a travesty. It's a nonsense. It is. It's, I'm it's, glad it's, you said that. I thought you yeah. were going to say something else then. No, it's outrageous. Yeah, I think it's... You don't mess with other countries' flags. Like, imagine if Nike had messed with the USA's flag or well, they France's wouldn't, flag. Because they it's wouldn't. illegal. They're not exactly. allowed to change the Stars and Stripes. Exactly. Yeah. So... I'm a bit, un, I'm 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 not really sure why they thought. Oh well, England, you know, they're well, they're, well, they're, so they're they're a nation of self-loathing. We, self about we well, can change Ni that. Ni Nike says, "Oh, it's a playful, playful term." It's a playful interpretation. Oh, yeah. that represents hope. Well, it's not actually. Defeat. You've wrecked our flag. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. I mean, personally, I, I don't really like it. I mean, a lot of people have said, "Oh well, they've changed the flag before and they've done this and they've done that." It's like, well, I don't even like mm -hmm. it then, to be honest. I just. But they've even taken away the borders of the mm -hmm. flag. It looks nothing like the flag of St George. Well, actually, and there's more than one. Cross. It, it isn't like the yeah. flag. Yeah. Um, I mean, actually, Nike have got you know form on this, haven't they? Mm. You yeah. know, we had Dylan Mulvaney, mm. you know, person without boobs, modelling a, a, a sports bra mm. because yeah. they were a man. They've actually got form on this, and I think someone needs to come down and say no. No one should buy that shirt. It's blooming expensive anyway. But yeah. if they're going to buy it, buy a retro one. Can I just say that is the real crime by the way? The cost of the shirts. It's 125 mm. pounds for an English shirt. And we were talking about this. So so parents for example buying it for their yeah. children and of course the the money soon racks up if you've got yeah. three kids for example. Exactly. Well, children's shirts are 119. Can you imagine buying a, f a football shirt for a child for £119? That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And Gareth Southgate, he weighed in. So yeah, he weighed in. He says, to be honest, the only thing that really matters on the English shirt, and th there is an element of truth to this, and I actually agree, the only thing that really matters are the three lines on the chest. And actually, I think that's probably... I'm it's... not sure that's true. So what if we change those to giraffes? Yeah, is exactly. that okay? Exactly. No. But that's the thing. England are known as the three lines. They've always been. No, I the know, three I know, lines. but it's the yeah. national flag. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't do it with a Scottish flag, would you? No, you wouldn't. You exactly. absolutely wouldn't. And look, I I'm. I'm not happy about this. Not necessarily because of what it represents. I just don't like the fact that people change our flag. That's not really my whole... I don't care about what it represents or what... So, so it was interesting. On the show yesterday, we had uh, Emily Thornbury. Do you remember, of course, she was the one that, that was appalled that people were flying the flag of St George many years ago. And, of course, that's the whole point, is that we have now come to a stage where actually we can fly the flag with pride once again. Yeah. And here we go again, being being changed and yeah. uh, adulterated, actually. And, and it, it feel, it's imposed rather than... A choice. It's not something that someone's looked at and thought, hmm, yeah, I, w I think everyone's going to really like this. Mm. It's something that Nike has said, well, maybe let's just try it and so, see what happens. What will happen? Will they back down? No, no of course not. Of course not. And how Absolutely. much of this is marketing? Because obviously everyone's talking about it. Well, actually, not much of this is marketing, I don't think. I think Nike kind of like went with this new striking design. They were hoping for the, the away kit to get more press because it's purple and it's got interesting mm. stuff on it. And it kind of didn't really get many headlines. But we're not seriously thinking that Nike took this decision without the FA signing it oh, off. Oh, someone will have signed it off, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, mm, someone will have signed point. it off. And I think it's a bit of an own goal. So what are they so, thinking? I think we can think that half the time about the FA sometimes, <laughs> to be honest. So. Right, shall we move on? I just mentioned, by the way, England are playing in that shirt tonight against Brazil uh, at Wembley live on Talk Sport. Perfect, Did you see perfect. the under-21s yesterday pulled their collar up, collar up so they? that they could, yeah. you could, could some them. of them? Well,